This just might be one of the cleanest woodworking shops in Louisville, almost clean enough to be an operating room for these second year University of Louisville Medical School students. It's a Sunday morning, and they're in the basement of Dr. Morton Kasdan's house, not doing woodwork, but learning how to tie knots on shamwow cloths. This will be the first half. <laughs> for the two hand, this will be the first half. Yeah. yeah. The students call this Suture Sunday, learning a skill they won't get in the first few years of medical school, how to do surgical suturing and stitches. Just learning how to suture obviously is helpful. It makes you a standout medical student and it makes you a better resident because you're not struggling to learn how to do the basic, basic surgical skills. I just thought uh, this is a pretty necessary skill to have and I'd rather learn it now in this environment than wait until I'm thrown into an actual surgery and I'd flounder. So. <laughs> Do it now. Dr. Kasdan is a world-class hand and plastic surgeon, a U of L graduate, teacher, and physician. It was about 20 years ago when first and second year medical school students started dropping by his house for free lessons that they weren't getting in the classroom. I just always enjoyed teaching. Uh, I've always liked it, whether it be woodworking or uh, the uh, suturing skills. Eventually, Suture Sunday got too big, with too many students wanting in. Now there's a more formal process, with 90 medical students applying for 60 slots, which are chosen by lottery. Four Sundays, four breakfast, and lessons from Dr. Kasdan. Nurses are the backbone of the hospital, so whatever you want to do, you want to get along with the nurses. And some older students who have done this before. It's a very cool thing to get to do as a medical student. It's something that's different. It's not the structure of the classroom. It's a special thing to get to participate in, and I think students recognize that. I think he really has the best interest for us, especially when we start each session with uh, tips from him and information from him. And I think it'll whatever whatever we end up doing will make us successful in all of our rotations when we get into the hospital. Actually, it's really. Um, speaks towards his generosity and his dedication to teaching, to do it for groups of students month on month on month, just every year, um, just out of his own desire to share. So that's pretty incredible, I think. It's, it's a real joy to us. I mean, it, it, it's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, you know, whether you call it giving back, but I don't feel it's giving back. I just really enjoy it. I wouldn't do it if I didn't like it. And they wouldn't be here on Sunday morning if they didn't like it.